So there's a lot of plugins out there that let you make Apple's liquid glass effect inside of DaVinci Resolve, but the best one just got an update and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. So what makes this update for this particular plugin that much better than anything else is the fact that it's now accessible on the edit page, in addition to the fact that you can add it and work with it inside of Fusion as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. You can see I just have the timeline open. This is just some footage that I shot uh, of a body of water with my drone, uh, but it's as simple as just going to effects, finding it inside your effects. This is liquid glass underscore drag and drop and watch how simple this is. You can already see that it's on the screen here and it has kind of like that uh, light refraction glass effect within the frame here. Now in the inspector, you can see there are a few options here to change what you have. Uh, the first one is soft edge. I'm probably not gonna be using this one all that much to be honest with you, unless you wanted to give it that distinct sort of softened shape. Uh, but if I'm gonna be using this, I'm gonna be using it more for either circles or rectangles like this. Uh, you have your border width that kind of just blows it up or uh, shrinks it down. It's kind of like any road dilate kind of thing on there. Uh, and then the center, so you can move it around. And mind you, all of these things are keyframable as well. So if there was something in particular you wanted to highlight or exaggerate in your frame, uh, you could keyframe this and move it around and blow it up. Uh, width and height, so width just makes this longer, height makes this taller. Simple as that. Again, you could keyframe this and you could see that it changes over time. Extremely simple, very straightforward to use. And then there's corner radius. So if you want like a perfect, like hard edges there, you can do that. If you want to kind of emulate a circle here, you can crank corner radius all the way up and pull in that width a little bit. Now you have kind of like a drop or circle sort of shape right there. Uh, and then there's angle as well. So I'm going to reset this. Um, Angle lets you just rotate the angle just like normal. And it's as simple as that. Uh, and you saw, I just dragged this from my effects panel down into the timeline, uh, dragged another layer on and it's, it's there. Like that's that's it, it's as simple as that. And, and if you wanted to go back into Fusion to mess with this, you could just press this little button right here and this will load up Fusion. So here you have the effect and it's very simple, very straightforward. I'm gonna ungroup this. You have the same workings as the previous version of the liquid glass effect. Uh, it works the exact same way. You still need the same plugin from Reactor. I'll link that video here so you can go and watch that and familiarize yourself uh, with the plugin first. Um, still have that chromatic displacement from Reactor there. Uh, but yeah, your shape is derived from your mask right here. It goes into a blur, matte control, and then chromatic displacement. and that's that's pretty much it. Here in uh, Fusion as well, uh, I have an iteration of the background layer or the previous bottom layer. This version of the plugin now comes bundled uh, when you purchase the liquid glass plugin on my website. So you get the old version that had everything in there as well, plus this. Uh, the old version like still technically does have drag and drop functionality on the edit page, but I'll show you why it's a little different. So this is the old version. It's just called liquid glass. And by default here, it has these two shapes. They're kind of like bubbles moving around uh, and they have text in the background. Now there's no inspector controls for this one because this one is meant to be made and messed with in Fusion. So you can go in here, you can turn off the text if you want, or you could make it say something completely different. You could say, hello, you know, or just get rid of one of these entirely. There's a lot more advanced control that you have inside of Fusion with the first one, but it's just all, all how you want to use it. For just quick and easy drag and drop functionality, this one works great on the edit page. Here I have the effect stacked. So yeah, you can download this from my website. You get both versions of this plugin. Like I said, again, the second one, the drag and drop is meant to just be drag and drop, made to just put that glass on top of whatever you're working with on your timeline already. It's not supposed to have any other functionality. You can add it if you want. That's just how it comes out of the box. My goal with this was to make it easy to create that glass effect uh, without having to go into Fusion and turn this off every time and adjust that and delete this other circle or no, just drag and drop. You got liquid glass, you're done. So go check it out on my website. I'll leave it linked down below. And that's all for me for now. And I will see you guys in the next video coming out this Friday. This next one's all about how to make wind inside of Fusion. So keep an eye out for that one and I'll see you guys later.